Let me welcome you to our discussion here focused on the Bible and its origin. You can access this and other postings on YouTube. Just type or search for ETCDM. Despite the good news of salvation, through the Bible is for all of mankind, white, black, blue, pink, red or whatever their race, it is still difficult for some to accept. Due to racial barrier, prejudice or conflicts. For example, some pastor friends of mine while on evangelism face a deluge of arguments and resistance particularly from some of their black Americans' contacts. Some have asked me to prepare a short messages that explains the origin of the Bible. And just as I was about starting to prepare this, someone else sent a posting on how much do you know about the Bible? The confirmation I needed. As the world enters the end time, Satan is going to use every means, including racial divide or prejudice to hold people away from their salvation through the begotten Son of God Most High. There are many people, especially among the black Americans, whose ancestors were enslaved by the white men. For this reason, they do not believe and will not accept the Bible presented to them by a white man. They say it the white man's book. It was the white man who wrote the Bible. It was the white man who brought the Bible to Africa. Then used it to deceive their ancestors to enslave them. They believe whatever is written in the Bible was written by the white man for the white man. To favor them, to justify their actions. They believe it is another way for the white man to continue to enslave them. They also believe Jesus does not exist but an invention of the white man. They point to the white man's portrait or picture of Jesus with white skin, pointed nose and long hair. Inconsistent with his Judean origin. For these and other reasons, many of these people, whose ancestors were enslaved by the Europeans, have chosen to reject the God of the Bible presented to them by a white man. They choose to seek a higher spirit. They are doing this by turning to the spirits of their ancestors to lead them. These are all some of the means the devil is using to keep many in bondage. Away from the salvation and freedom of God through his begotten Son. And the spirit of idolatry and rebellion in the ancestors of old against the Almighty, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, is still in operation. The scripture says, You will know the truth and the truth will set you free, John 8 verse 32. But how can one know the truth and be free, if they choose to feed on hearsays? Or would not even take the book to read to discover the truth or lie for themselves? Or are they afraid, they may actually discover the truth? But let us take a closer look, was the Bible written by white men? Is the Bible a white man's book presented to deceive the black man? The Bible is neither a white man's nor a black man's book. The Bible is the book of the message of good news and salvation, from God, through his only begotten Son to all of mankind. For all races, white, black, blue, green, pink or whatever your color or race is. And here is what the scripture says. Galatians 3 verses 28 to 29. Verse 28, There is no difference whether you are a Jew or Gentile. There is no difference whether you are a slave or free person. There is no difference whether you are a male or female. For you are all one in the Messiah Yeshua. Verse 29, And if you belong to the Messiah, then you are of the seed of Abraham, and as according to the promise God made to Abraham. The Origin of the Bible The Scripture tells us this. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17. Verse 16, the entire scripture has been given through inspiration of God, and is useful for teaching, for confirmation, checking, for correction, for nurturing in righteousness. Verse 17, this is so that anyone who is of God would be complete, thoroughly equipped to do every good work. The Bible was written over a period of 1,600 years by 40 different people who lived in different generations and places. They were inspired by the Holy Spirit of God, working through them to write. 
In total, there are 66 books in the Bible, 39 in the Old Testament and 27 in the New. But none of the people who wrote the Bible were white or Europeans. So who were they? All the writers were either priests or prophets, who were of the descendants of the line of Shem. Who was Shem? Let's go back to the beginning of this generation, from the time of Noah and look at the family tree. Noah of old, who survived the flood, had three children, names Japheth, Shem and Ham. Japheth's children included Goma, Magog, Jovan, and so on. The descendants of Japheth, are the Europeans or white people. They were described as the people of coastland nations of the Gentiles, Genesis 10 verses 1 to 5. They lived far north of Israel. The Europeans or descendants of Japheth were all Gentiles and none Jews. Ashkenaz was a descendant of Goma, who was one of the sons of Japheth. Ham was the third son of Noah. The sons of Ham were Cush, Mizraim, or Egypt, Put, and Canaan. Cush was the ancestor of Nimrod, who began to be mighty on earth, Genesis 10 verses 6 to 8. Shem was the second son of Noah. Shem was the ancestor of all the children of Eber, Genesis 10 verse 21. From the line of Shem came Abraham, the father of Isaac, who was father of Jacob. They were the ancestors of the Jews or Hebrews. From the descendants or lines of Shem came all the forty writers of the Bible. The line of Shem was the line set aside by God as priests and prophets to him. Even Abraham was a prophet. None of the forty writers of the Bible were Europeans or of Japheth. They were of Middle East, who were not white. They had darker or black skin. Even Solomon and David were of dark skin, 1 Samuel 16 verse 12, Song of Solomon 5 verses 10 to 11. The forty writers of the Bible included Moses who wrote the Torah, Genesis to Deuteronomy, Job, Psalm 90. Others included Joshua, Samuel, Gad, Nathan, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Ezra, David, Solomon, Daniel, Amos, Hosea, Joel, Nahum, Obadiah. Micah, Habakkuk, Jonah, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, etc. The New Testament books were also written by the descendants of Shem, who were Jews or Hebrew. The New Testament writers included Matthew, Mark, Luke, James, Jude, Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter, and Apostle John. Original Language of the Bible The Hebrew Bible, which is all of the Old Testament, from Genesis to Malachi were originally written in Hebrew language. But about 250 verses, out of 23,000 verses, which were portions of the book of Daniel 2-7, as well as Ezra, Ezra 4-6, Ezra 7 verses 12-26, were written in related language, Aramaic. Aramaic was more commonly used from the time of captivity in Babylon, even until the time of Yeshua. Hence Yehoshua became Yeshua. As the Greeks began to rule the world, Greek became the popular language all over, including for many of the Jews, who were in exile or scattered all over. So Hebrew texts were carefully translated from Hebrew text to Greek. The New Testament was written in Koine, or the common Greek. The form of Greek spoken or used every day by most of the educated people of the first century. It was simpler in its style, syntax, and grammar than classical Greek. And it was easier for the non-native speakers of Greek to learn. Although Yeshua and his disciples spoke in Aramaic, as could be seen from words such as Maranatha, Ephaphtha, or the cry, Eloi, Eloi. The New Testament or the Gospel writers including Apostle Paul wrote in Koine Greek. King James I of England commissioned 47 of the best scholars, including some from Ethiopia or Africa, to translate the Old Testament directly from Hebrew and Aramaic to English, and the New Testament from Greek to English. History has it that King James I of England himself was of mixed race, part black or non-European ancestry. 
The translation was completed in 1611 as the King James Version. And if anyone still doubts the accuracy of the translation, such as the King James Version, they could easily check by themselves if they speak Hebrew, Aramaic and Greek. So we have discussed that the original Bible was not written by any European, white men or Japhet descendants, but by Jews or Hebrews descendants of the line of Shem, as inspired by the Holy Spirit. I have read many versions of the Bible, cover to cover, every year, since the last 20 years. I have checked for consistency. Apart from the appearances of the Lord to me, I can confirm the consistency and accuracy, from Genesis to Revelation. This is despite being written by different people, with different backgrounds, in different environments over a period of 1,600 years. Only a single author, the Holy Spirit, could have made that possible. Well, how many people today, especially new readers, find it quite difficult to understand or relate to the ancient words, items, and expressions used in King James Version, which is ancient. And this problem has been solved through the end-time Bible about which the Lord himself appeared and assigned me to work on. And I'm not of Japhet line. The end-time Bible, ETB, is as complete with all verses as the King James Version. And one of the many advantages of it is that it's simple to understand and relate to in today's language, without losing the original message. It also has cross-referencing feature, as well as commentary, and makes it easy for readers to follow and understand the end-time prophecies. The Bible was written over a period of 1,600 years and contains history, revelations, and prophecies, including for the end time. It has been written for mankind to have a close relationship with Almighty God the Creator and to prepare mankind for the future. Various people quote different numbers for the total number of prophecies in the Bible. It depends upon the manner in which one counts the prophecies. For example, one person may count a single verse as a prophecy, while another may see three or four prophecies within the same verse. So some count a total of 6,000 prophecies. Some count 1,817, while others count 750 prophecies. The Old Testament, which was written hundreds of years before Yeshua's birth, contains over 300 prophecies that Yeshua fulfilled through his life, death, and resurrection. Many, more than half, of the prophecies in the Bible have already been fulfilled. The remaining prophecies will be fulfilled in the end time, which the world is entering into. The Bible has 17 historical books that establish the historical events of the Old Testament. There are five poetical books such as Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Solomon which link the historical past and the prophetical books of the future. The Bible has 17 prophetic books or a quarter of the Bible. And there are four Gospels books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. With the good news of salvation of the birth, death, sacrifice, and resurrection of Yeshua to save those who will accept him as Lord and Savior. And there are 21 epistles in the Bible. The biggest religions in the world, including Christianity, Judaism, and Islam have their roots in the Old Testament. Now, as for those who are still seeking the way, through the spirits of their ancestors before slavery, they need not search any further. The Bible clearly shows the true way and relationship with the Most High, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. Besides, most of the ancestors before slavery did not know Him, but were idol worshippers. And the Creator hates idolatry. There are many things the Lord God Almighty has said will happen to those who refuse to listen to Him, but are rebellious in their idolatrous ways. There are many blessings promised to those who follow and obey the Lord God Almighty, such as in Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 14. But there are many things, not good, that will follow those who are rebellious and refuse to listen to Him. Who follow the idolatrous ways of their ancestors. Some of these are in Deuteronomy 28 verses 15 to 68. Let's read just four of those verses. 
Verse 15. But if you do not obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments and his statutes, laws, regulations, instructions, which I command you today, all these curses will come upon you and overwhelm you. Verse 25. The Lord will let you to be defeated before your enemies. You will go out in one direction against them and run in panic to escape in seven directions before them. You will become troublesome to all the kingdoms of the earth. Verse 32. Your sons and your daughters will be handed over, as slaves, to another people. You will watch as this happens and then you will long to see them all day long, but will be helpless. Verse 37. You will be so devastated and become like an object of puzzlement, a proverb, and a byword, laughingstock, among all nations where the Lord will drive you. End of reading. So those seeking to follow the idolatrous ways of their ancestors should take heed to avoid further disasters. But if you follow him and accept his ways and salvation through his only begotten son, Yeshua, here is what the scripture says you will be to him. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God's own special possession, chosen to declare the excellence, praises, of the wondrous deeds of him, who called you out of darkness into his marvellous light. As we close, I want to thank you for your time. Please remember to forward this message to others. For this and other postings on YouTube, type or search for ETCDM. And all you need to know about the end time are documented in the set of the end time books, as received from the Lord. You can get your copies, as well as the end time Bible, ETB, from either ETCDM.com. If you use Amazon, then search using this phrase, end time ETB Bible. And until our next discussion, God bless you and keep you.